So, success is something which all of us dream and we all would like our race, our countries or any of the things which we belong to, being the most powerful, being the most successful. But why doesn't it always happen to black Africans being specific? I want to share something which you really need to know about, which is very important for every black African person like me to know about. So the thing which I'm going to talk here, I'm not mocking the African black people or I'm not mocking anyone in the, on the planet Earth who might not be successful. But it's an idea which I've been developing for long and I've been watching my community as a black African. I've been watching what other black Africans do and it kind of convinced me of why as, as black Africans we are not as successful as we would like to be. And we always fail in the things which we try to do, even those which can seem the most little things. One thing which is true is that Africa holds the most powerful things which can ever be when we hear about the bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki they came from Congo my country but my country is among the poorest country in the world when we hear of, of chocolates when we hear of petrol when we hear of diamond anything which actually the world own today Africa have the whole potential of it being how it is today all the materials which China may use to make mobiles and other things they come from Africa everything comes from Africa and where those black people are actually there is nothing going on black people have been victim of the slavery which happened earlier before black people have been victim of colonialism which happened earlier before and right now what's happening everybody's going to say racism right and i think yeah it makes sense for people to accuse racism colonialism and slavery because they happened and they hurt they are very painful moments which even for us as black people watching them right now it's really pain and like you just have the feeling of i don't deserve this i deserve much better because i'm a human also i deserve my right of being whosoever i would like to be but the the problem which comes is which i even take to be the the reason of why black people don't succeed in what they do and why they fail it's because we use those excuses to remain also behind we use excuses of we have been colonized that's why maybe our technology might not be better than them we use the excuse of we have been slave maybe that's why we might not be president in their countries we use the excuse of saying we have been minority and marginalized maybe that's why we might not have the most uh, successful people in the world we use the excuse of what we have been through to accept our failure when actually one thing which we can agree with all together is that failure of course have to happen one time in life and even those people who may seem more powerful than us they have been a time when they, they have been also in failure america was not a land which was prosperous the whole time there was a time it was an unknown place it needed people to accept that this is an unknown place it's empty it's a forest let's build it and they had to use anything which they could find around them humans who maybe might not think of it before them and now exploit it. Africa was used with other people who came as colonizers, they came with, with religion, they came with guns, they came with other things. 20 immediate Africans were there, buried their culture, buried everything which they had and they were successful to convince us that they were powerful more than us. Some people even came in Africa. They came to visit and they saw the potential which Africa had and later on they came taking our people, taking our mothers, taking our fathers, killing them, cutting their hands and doing so many things to Africans which made a again Africa to remain behind and created in us that mindset of we have been victim and these people who came to fight us are powerful more than us. But let me tell you something. This is something which we all know and we try to claim as much as we can to show how powerful Africa have been in the past. I have been making a series of few videos which I made I think on the 25 videos so far about Africa. But one thing which I really discovered is that Africa actually was way more powerful than how we all imagine. Africa has the best things for the whole world. If it comes for food, if it's come for land, if it's come for animals, if it's come for natural resources, we have everything. But what are we waiting for? The black man, the only thing we have right now is complaining about what's wrong Europeans did to them. The only thing which they have right now is complaining on what's wrong slave masters did to them. What they have right now is complaining on what's wrong the colonists did to black men. What they have is complaining in what's wrong the police is doing to black people in foreign countries. But what are we doing about it? Those people to be the way they are right now 
now it's because they understood a failure which they had and they had, they had to work on it they didn't have excuses over who colonized us before and we may seem to ignore it but all the powerful countries or places on the planet earth right now there was a time they were invaded and they were under pressure or under occupation of another power so the excuse of i have been colonized i am minority i have been slave it's not an enough excuse for us to remain behind my humble request today to all the black african people let's change our mentality our color skin doesn't mean we are low our past of being colonized being slave doesn't mean we are low everything which happened to our past and everything which have been taught in our history destroying our culture destroying everything doesn't mean we are low this is no longer the time of looking for what is the new challenge this is no longer the time of looking for who again say the racist word on twitter let me go and reply to them this is not the time for doing all that this is the time for thinking of how do we make africa great and we don't make africa great by making europe our enemy we don't make africa great by making asia our enemy we don't make africa great by seeing those who colonized us in the past as our enemy they are looking for life they have to survive and in africa the things which they can survive with which we as black africans or any other african we may be neglecting so this is the time when we should stand up understand what we have as a value and use it for the benefits of africa and in all i may be saying it may look as if i'm i'm nothing of course to educate you i'm nothing to tell you what you have to do for africa but one thing which i know that i have is that i can share with you the mentality which i have about africa and africa have a lot which actually we can give to the world one thing which one fact which i actually discovered the whole world want to know about africa the whole world is excited about africa africa is hidden nobody knows it's about africa i don't know whatever else you, do, you can be you can be a content creator you can be whatever thing you are you got something which you can give to the world from africa we are tired of phones from china we are tired of brands from us we are tired of brands from europe we need something coming from africa i would like to tomorrow go in a car which the brand is known everywhere in the world coming from nigeria i would like to tomorrow use a mobile coming from egypt i would like tomorrow to use uh maybe to go in the most famous restaurant of the world from madagascar i would like tomorrow to use maybe a tv manufactured from from south africa i would like tomorrow to watch a most famous football team coming from cameroon those are the things we need from africa so let's forget about sleeping let's forget about who is our enemy let's fight to make africa being recognized and one thing which is true the world is going to respect us the world is going to follow what we said and what we did which is good i hope i said something which is good for you and which is going to help you as a black african and all for all the africans thank you so much for being here catch you next time